Welcome everyone to this week's photography adventure. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit outside of the norm because I heard that the swans are having a late migration this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out to a place called Goose Pond Sanctuary. Uh, it's located just slightly outside Madison, Wisconsin. And while there, I'm going to try to get some gorgeous pictures of swans and hopefully there's going to be some frozen water and it should make for some really interesting compositions. But as I'm doing this, I'm going to try to provide as many tips as possible and walk you through how I actually go about lining up the perfect camera settings for a specific location. Just forewarning in advance, some of the beginning images might not be as good as the end, so be sure to stick around to see what I actually ended up coming up with. So hopefully you enjoy, and on to the video. Uh, so what I've got going on for a camera, I've got my Canon M6 Mark II, and I've got a 1.5 times uh, teleconverter uh, for my uh, 70 to 300 EF lens. So hopefully this is going to be sufficient. Unfortunately, I am going to have to crop in on these images a bit because these birds are really far away, but I think I will still be able to get something. Okay, so first tip I've got going on here. With the sun, you always want the sun to be facing at wildlife uh, so that the side of the wildlife that's facing you is actually illuminated. If you try to shoot them from the back, then you really just can't get any color or anything like that. So using that, I'm gonna try to get a good picture here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to high speed continuous because, nah, I might do low speed continuous. Uh, but yeah, definitely gonna try to get a shot of as many of these swans as I can possibly get in one photo. <laughs> And gonna try a couple with image stabilization on because this is definitely kind of wobbly. Uh, so that was a few shots of a whole bunch of swans. I, I'm shooting this at one two thousandth of a second. I'm hoping that between the 480 millimeters I have, that should hopefully stabilize this and get me some good crisp shots. I, I might try to bump that up a little bit and bring some of this back in post. So I'm gonna try one thirty two hundredths of a second and see if maybe that'll get something better. Okay, but what I'm gonna try to do now is get a picture of an individual swan, one of these that's flapping its wings, and uh, this will be a photo that I am definitely gonna have to crop in very severely on. Come on, one of you guys. Flap some wings. <laughs> Am I just focusing on the dud birds? I've seen a couple of them flapping out there. It's the Stay away from the geese. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to change my focus point. Uh, this autofocus thing not working, so changing to one point so that I can actually get it targeted on an individual swan. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah. 
too slow. Okay, so I found a way to stabilize myself a little better using a rock. Uh, with wildlife photography, honestly, a tripod, it's just a little too hard. You don't have enough motion. So either find a good rock to stabilize on, find some way to brace yourself, a tree to lean up against, or possibly a monopod. Uh, any of those options will allow you full camera motion and being able to capture something good. So I'm gonna try a few more stabilized images here uh, to try to get something a little sharper and a little cleaner. But yeah, hopefully some of these are working out. Okay, so I think that's gonna wrap up this photography adventure here. Uh, this has been absolutely just a gorgeous sight out of Goose Pond Sanctuary. Uh, if you're in the Madison area, I would definitely recommend checking this out. This has been fantastic. But yeah, with that being said, hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have and wanna see more content like this, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and hopefully I will see you on the next adventure.